In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this Google Maps Flutter for Linux operating system with pulley line, marker, and distance between source and destination. And for this example, we do not use any API key. And this package, as you know, is not supporting Linux operating system. So be sure to follow the video till the end. And if you face any problem during this tutorial or you have any other problem in Flutter, you can comment down and I will try to make another video on that. And now let's see how we can create this Google Map Flutter for Linux operating system. So this Google Maps Flutter package does not support Linux operating system and we have to find an alternative which does support. So for that, I will copy the entire code and give it to ChatGPT and write that we want this for Linux operating system. And we also have to mention that this package does not support Linux operating system. Although we have described that the packages should support Linux operating system, but still it gives us this package which does not support Linux operating system. But let me check this geolocator and see if this one supports. This one is also not supporting Linux operating system. I don't know why ChatGPT has given us this code. I have to tell that these two packages are not supporting Linux operating system. So this time it has used Flutter map, which I have to check whether Flutter map is supporting Linux operating system or not. So Flutter map does support Linux operating system. We can copy it and go to PubSpec YAML and here paste it. Next is location. Let's see if location is supporting Linux operating system. Location does not support Linux operating system. So we have to talk about that. Lat long to let's see if this one supports Linux operating system. This one does support, so we can copy it and paste it here. Now I can tell that this location package. So I simply ignored that location package. And now let's see how it gets the current user location. You can see instead of getting current user location dynamically, it just provides it a default static location. So let's copy this and see if it does work or not. I can save this and here I'm going to paste everything. There are some errors. Flutter map. It requires children. So here we have layers instead of children. So I can change this to children. And tile layer is not found. We can simply remove the options from here. It should be fine. From here also we can remove options and remove options. In map options we have initial center instead of center. So I will write down initial center and zoom also initial zoom down here we do not have builder option instead of builder we have child so i'm gonna make this child and simply assign this icon up here also i can copy this child and paste it here and now we are good let's run this application in the linux and see if it works or not all right the application is running and now i have to provide some destination location since we do not have any location nearby and i cannot get the latitude and longitude here let me ask ChatGPT to give me some random okay it has given me this to let's paste it here and this one if i press this button it should draw a polyline so it does draw this polyline but it is straight it's not proper so let me talk to chat gpt and tell it so here i said that use open street map to draw polyline using open street map we can draw the polyline without requiring any api key and it's completely free let's see what the chat gpt will give us okay generation is finished now i can copy the entire code and paste it here so in generate uh, polyline it has not used the open street map again it has done some calculation let's see if this one works it is great we don't have to use any other third party but for the errors here i have fixed it but it's again here i will control z everything and copy the entire expanded from here create a new file paste it temporary here and now i can copy the entire code from chat gpt and copy the entire expanded from here back and now everything should be fine except this builder i don't know where does it come from shouldn't be here save it now if i restart the application so we have the application running now let me copy the destination location give it for us before i can get direction again it has drawn us some curves but that's not what we want we want the actual polyline to be drawn it is just cheating us just to show us that it's real but it's not we know that let me give this entire code to chat gpt and say that use 
Hopefully this time it uses the open street map. Again, it did not understand what we have said. It's just drawing the same thing. So sometimes ChatGPT does this. So I'm going to copy the entire code and refresh this chat and bring it to the new chat. And now I will say this new chat should be able to generate us. All right. In Git direction, it has used open route service, which requires an API key. I don't say to use this one. So I'm going to tell this again. I hope it understands. So again, it give us the same example that we had before. It's not using OpenStreetMap. I don't know if it knows about it or not so i'm gonna tell chat gpt to use this so again it's just giving us the same code over and over so i'm gonna copy this first code that it has generated us is it possible to do it without any api key let's see it says yes you can implement without api key i'm gonna have to refresh the chat and then copy the entire code and give it to chat gpt and say and this time i have to remove this polyline logic completely because it always gets that confusion and draw us something else so i'm gonna copy the entire code now and say again it's just drawing some random line around the map with different steps Okay, finally, ChatGPT is understanding what we mean. Here, it has used OpenStreetMap. Let's see if this works or we will have some errors. So before that, I have to copy this expanded code, paste it here. Now, copy the entire code and paste it right here. And now I can bring back the entire code from here and paste it back instead of expand it. Now, if I refresh the entire application, now let me ask ChatGPT to give me some location nearby. All right, finally, this seems to be working. We have the current location, we have destination location. The only thing here is that we are providing the current location statically because there's no package in Linux as of now that can get your current location and we just have to provide it statically. Now I can give this code to ChatGPT to calculate the distance also. Now I can copy this code and paste it here. But again, it just misses out all these syntax, although I have given the correct syntax, but again. And now if I restart the application, the distance should show up here. Now I could copy this and get direction. Now we have direction, we have distance 4.38 kilometers. So this is how we can apply Google Map in Flutter Linux operating system. If you have any problem, question or any video suggestion, you can write down in the comment and I will try to respond and create another video on that. And I will leave the source code in the description. And with that being said, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.